It's been described as a case with a lot of leads and no clear motive. This week marks 15 years since the Lane Bryant murders happened in a Tinley Park strip mall. Our Dane Placco takes a look back at the case in tonight's special report. Tinley Park police have a 3D sketch of what the Lane Bryant murder suspect looks like and a 911 recording of what he sounds like. Someone will be caught one day soon. That was the hope of Rhoda McFarland's brother back in 2018. It's now been 15 years since she and four other women were bound with duct tape and shot to death inside what was then a Lane Bryant store in Tinley Park at 10 o'clock in the morning. Their killer has still not been caught. A sixth woman survived the massacre by playing dead. I'm hoping that there was some sort of physical evidence left behind at the crime scene. Ross Rice is a retired FBI special agent. The problem with uh, physical evidence, and we just saw that with the, uh, the murder of the four college students in Idaho, you can find physical evidence at a crime scene, whether it's a latent fingerprint or DNA, but you have to have a known sample to compare it to. Since this case is still an open investigation for Tinley Park Police, we don't know all of the evidence that was collected at the crime scene. Given the amount of time that's passed, another cold case expert offers this possibility as to why that connection has not been made. I still believe that the offender is likely dead. Um, and, and that's why that connection hasn't been made. Whether it's a family member, a friend, or something else, Buslick says one reason he thinks the Lane Bryant suspect is dead is because there have not been any viable connections tying the suspect to the crime. He also knows that could change. However, we've seen other cold cases that have gone on for years where something finally breaks and an offender is identified, whether it's like the Delphi murders, in addition to being deceased, Buslick says the suspect may have left the Chicago area immediately following the crime. I think that's a distinct possibility. He was very close to the highway. It, it would be easy to leave. We have seen other kinds of crimes that were facilitated by transportation infrastructure. Because it was such an odd target for a robbery, I think that's a possibility that it was a very much a random target. The fender may have been passing through and then continued on his way. The Tinley Park Police Department tells us the new detective assigned to this case continues to review new and old tips daily. And they're hoping that advancements in technology will allow them to solve this case once and for all. In Tinley Park, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. Investigators are still offering a $100,000 reward for information leading to an arrest in the Lane Bryant murders. You can call or email tips to the Tinley Park Police Department.